So this video is about the NDS SP that we've created. We'll go through it with you, some of the build process and the end product. Stay tuned. custom build we got this broken original DS from Japan fairly cheap the top screen works intermittently so it's probably a great donor body so what we're planning on doing is making another custom DSSP it's that lovely white color with the white buttons still in pretty good condition the shell and we see what we can do and what color combination we can come up with so we chopped off the original hinges and we've epoxied and bolted some new DS hinges on the top as you can see we're up to second sand we'll probably give it one more sand and then we'll start giving it a primer coat to see what it comes out like still uncertain what color we're gonna paint it but we'll see as time goes on how it evolves so I just applied a second coat of body filler spray to the shell it's come out not bad looks pretty seamless I probably even need one more coat and some blocking and then I'll be ready for a top coat of paint. So we've gone for that all white clean look. I think that's the way to go with the white bottom and the green Pokemon top. Now it's going to be actually the Tricky part, the assembly. I have to do a lot of body modification to get it all to fit, and especially the top shell. We'll see how we go. So as you saw through the video for the build, it's not just a simple clip in the hinge for the SP shell and away you go. You actually have to mold on the rear hinge to make it fit and there has to be a little bit of a adjustment as well. So we decided to mount the speaker in the back, so a lot of people ask about that. And obviously it takes Game Boy Advance and still the DS games. I'm going to test out the NDSSP. Works a treat. Such a great game as well. 